I did, but it's been a while, and I wanted to sound smart over breakfast. Oh, you're smart. Oh, good. Wasn't sure it was coming across. What chapter are you on? Uh, six. Oh, the extra galactic distance ladder. Want to know a little secret? Sure. I wrote the section on the Wilson Bapu effect completely naked. Really? Uh, sure doesn't read that way. Here, let me show you. <clears throat> When we consider the brightness of pulsating variable stars, we start to see a possible explanation for some of the discrepancies found in Hubble's constant. Wow. You really make science come alive. Vocal test, morning vocal test. Mm. Second vocal test, second morning vocal test. Morning, Sheldon. Morning. Morning, Sheldon. Morning. I trust you had a pleasant night. More than pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, I'm going to relieve myself. How do you take your coffee? Black. Okay, no. P for Houston, P for Austin, P for the state my heart got lost in. <laughs> And shake twice for Texas. Something his mother taught him. All right, Elizabeth, the bathroom is yours. The seat is down and has been sanitized for your protection. That's very thoughtful, but I think I'll finish my coffee first. Ah, oh, so the yogurt didn't work. <laughs> I'll fire off a critical email to the manufacturer. Oh, good, you're up. Look, my car won't start. I need a ride to work. Did you once again ignore your check engine light? No, Mr. Smarty Pants. I ignored the fill gas tank light. <laughs> Leonard, Penny wants to exploit any residual feelings you have for her in order to get a ride to work. Oh, uh, uh, sure, let me just put this in a travel mug. Hello. Hi. Oh, Penny, this is Dr. Plimpton, a leading expert on quantum cosmology. Dr. Plimpton, Penny is a waitress who doesn't understand the role gasoline plays in the internal combustion engine. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Are you enjoying your stay? Yes, very much. Good. <laughs> Wonderful, meaningless pleasantries accomplished. Elizabeth, Leonard's bathroom time is coming up, and believe me, you do not want to follow him. Excuse me. Okay, well, I guess I should get dressed so I can take everyone to work. You and Sheldon and Sheldon's friend, Dr. Plimpton, who you just met. It'd be fun. Like a clown car. <laughs> Hang on. Hmm? Yeah, what, huh? We just broke up. Well, uh, you and me? Yeah, we did, not too long ago. How you doing with it? I'm not as good as you, apparently. I, I'm, I don't follow. You know what? It, it's none of my business. If you want to sleep with Sheldon's doctor buddy right after we stop seeing each other, go for it. Well, no. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm uncomfortable with you recommending that Leonard pursue having intercourse with Dr. Plimpton, who I assure you has better things to do. I'm not recommending it. I'm saying it already happened. Oh, that's preposterous. Tell her, Leonard. Well... <laughs> No. Oh, come on, it wasn't my fault. The implication being that you somehow tripped and fell into her lady parts? You know what, I'm just gonna take the bus to work. No, but I can still drive you. Oh, no, no, it's okay. You might slip on a banana peel and get me pregnant. 